Welcome back, guys. Guess what? Big plans, big plans. We are going to be doing the tavern. Yes, that's why it's such a big space, but yet not only is it going to be a tavern, it's going to be two houses as well. And if this goes according to plan, what I have pictured inside my head, you are going to love this thing. So make sure to stick around to the end. I do have a small announcement for you, so be sure to stick all the way through. I promise to make it not so long I'm inside of a ghost block but anyhow let's talk about what's going to be going on here if I can get myself out of that ghost block and put on our armor since it's becoming nighttime yes most of my recording is going to be during night because if you're new to the Tectopia series I have to go through the night our villagers do need to sleep it's required for their happiness and since I don't have a tavern they're kind of like mediocre happy they're not like super ecstatic ready to go they are just like eh, it's another day in life what's up you know stuff like that so we, that's the whole reason we're getting a tavern is so that they can be super ecstatic and ready to go so let's talk about this now we are gonna be sticking to the same design and that probably comes to a shocker for all of you huh but I do have some other plans in mind so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the floor in I'm gonna get you know our pillars going you know gonna do our little outline because we're gonna do this whole spiel again where we run this on the bottom and then I'm thinking this is gonna be mainly stone just like the library over here just because it's one of the more permanent structures and when I mean permanent I mean like if this was a real-life building you know you would see you know these big buildings made out of stronger materials I feel you know every time you see like a firehouse or a library or a school they're always made out of brick and stone that's because they're they're meant to last much longer than any regular building so that's kind of what this is gonna resemble a little bit I want this to be like one of the bigger you know buildings for Oh, well, look at what we got here. Look at our little spider jockey. You don't see many of those. This is an older update 1.12. So, oh, I forgot how fast they were. All right, cool. So I did a lot of work off camera in preparation for this moment, and I'm so excited about it. You know, I got a ton of spruce, got not a lot of oak, but I got a decent amount of jungle wood. We got a little bit of birch. We're not going to need a ton, so I didn't do very much. And I got some dark oak wood. And I'm excited about the dark oak because I want to change up the way that we do like our roofs like this. You know, that's, that's okay. That's all it is. It's just okay. It's not great. So I do want to, you know, spruce it up and, <laughs> and go ahead and make things better. Now, the way I want to do that is start mixing in different types of wood, maybe. I am still skeptical about how it looks. I did a small roof in a creative world, and I am not 100% sold on it, but I think it looks a little better. You guys will be my judges on that, and I expect some comments about it. So here we have the basic room. Now this is really empty and bland, right? And the outside looks just the same. We're just getting started, I promise. Now this is the first floor. This is going to be the tavern. Now where do I put houses, you might be thinking? And that's a proper question. I'm going to be putting them, well, obviously on a second floor. But I'm going to have one starting right about here going this way. And then the other house is going to start here going that way. And we're going to have a big massive vault going all the way up to past the second floor so you're gonna have like these little balconies from each house looking into the tavern now I am curious myself whether having little balconies open from the houses into the tavern is going to affect how the tavern works and whatnot but we shall see and I'm pretty excited about it I think it would be really cool it well it wouldn't be really cool to live in but it's gonna look sweet and that's all that matters and hopefully my my villagers think the same so 
now we just need a later on we're gonna put you know a couple rows of tables about two each on each side and that should house about my guess is about 50 to 60 uh, villagers in here so we'll be just fine so the next step here is I need a path going out of here and now I think just a building that went straight up would look really bland and I do have some ideas for some decorations in here and we'll get to that in a little bit but first I want to go ahead and put a little covering I guess over this as the best way to describe it because it's not going to be in an interior space it's going to be like a porch area that you kind of just you know are formal path throughout the city is going to go straight up to the doors which is going to be between these giant pillars and then we're just going to have a, like a little covering that comes back a little bit it's going to make a lot more sense once i build it i promise but it's going to add a lot of depth to this build Okay, so I hope this makes sense for what I was trying to say, right? So this path is going to come out probably to here before I start dropping it down. That way, you know, you get more of a grand feeling if you're walking on an even plane with it. So basically, this is all exterior space where we'll have our doors right about here. Somewhere in there, we'll figure out the path change. But first, I want to go ahead and increase the thickness of our ceiling here. That way, you know, it looks better from a distance. So if we go ahead and put some of these half slabs in there, you know, we fill it in a little bit more with some slabs. It's going to turn out great. Yeah, already it's looking much better. It's just adding, you know, one more layer of depth. You know, that way, yep, see how it looks a little thicker on this side? Compared to that, you know, it just looks riggedy. You know, it doesn't look very structurally sound if I leave it that way. So let's get the next step here, right? Now... This is really flat, really boring. Yes, I understand that. And I have a plan for it. So what I'm thinking is that we'll take some fences and probably some stone slabs. And that should give me enough to go ahead and pull out a layer of depth. That's going to look fantastic. I've done something similar in the past. Not in this pack. I don't think I've done it yet. You know, over here we have... Oh, I, I guess I didn't even finish that. I was supposed to put shutters on that with using our trap doors and then over here we have the stone pillar we're going to do something similar to the stone pillar but we're going to be using spruce fences with a lot of extra stone in there i'm not going to be wrapping this one with more leaves that's the extent of the leafage that i'm going to be using i don't want to overdo it in the village you know i want every building to have a little bit of foliage on it but not like crazy amounts like the library has the library is supposed to be a peaceful place and I keep running around I need to go ahead and do a little cut here so I can go ahead and get to work okay so with this in it definitely pulls things out you know we get that layer of depth now I didn't want to go crazy and use another type of block I could have used any other type of slabs here or stairs but anything just feels a little over complicated in my opinion so with this in I have to go ahead and put it on all sides now because it's just gonna be a reoccurring theme around all of our windows like that and I think that's a really awesome feature about it you know we can just put it in I think it looks fantastic so let's go ahead let's go inside and now we need to go ahead and get our roof in I think that's the next step that we should take and then we're gonna have to start framing out the houses you know then we have to go up start framing out the cathedral all that fun stuff but the first step here i think is going to put in the floor now the way i am going to be doing these floors and ceilings is that it's not going to our ceiling is not going to be our jungle wood here so i want to go ahead and do a spruce ceiling and then on top of that we're going to go ahead and do another jungle floor so i want to keep that theme you know all of our floors are jungle I might go ahead and take some random blocks out and replace them with oak. It's a good look. It makes, you know, it breaks up the pattern. You know, this kind of just looks boring and all on the same level, right? So, but if we go ahead and take a little bit of it out just randomly, and by randomly, I mean literally just walking through and doing one of these numbers until I'm satisfied. 
and then going ahead and replacing it with some oak slabs and, and that will give us a little bit of variety within our floor. Another cool way to think about this kind of floor is that this is a tavern. So people are in here partying, they're drinking, you know, you spill drinks, you know, you're eating food. If you're having a wood floor in a place like this, your stuff is not going to be all nice and clean and uniform. Stuff is going to start to discolor. You know, if you get wood wet and it's kind of slowly rots, you know, this is kind of how it looks like in real life. So I think that's actually something I thought about afterwards. It's not the reason why I did it. But thinking about it, that makes a lot of sense, and I think that's kind of fun. But anyhow, let's get back to the plan. Okay, so I have to be kind of quick, and I have to be on the lookout at the same time. Never mind, there he is. There's our necromancer that I got the warning of a little bit ago. Let's go ahead and take him out. Now, the easiest way to take out a necromancer, in my opinion, is to sleep. Uh, there's no easier way to do it, in my opinion just for the pure fact that it kills all the you know all the mobs that he collects so what the necromancer does is he will go around and pretty much take in other mobs into his control and if he does he'll get these little orbs that fly around him because you can't do damage to him unless you kill all of his minions and these are his minions basically so if you have to take out all the minions in order to kill the necromancer and I wasn't watching my health oh goodness run okay anyhow let's sleep it out uh, that way I can actually focus I was really not paying attention to my health that's okay it's not that big of a deal I don't think I had that many levels so let's go ahead take him out that we should just be able to get in here and there you go voila we got eight emeralds from that which is awesome uh, I think it, they get harder over time, technically. I really do wish there were more, like, big boss fights like that. It doesn't happen very often, but that was cool. That was cool. Uh, get all my items back, and we can talk a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I got eight emeralds from that Necromancer kill, which is really nice. And it actually has gone up over time. I used to just get four, so I think since I'm, my village is getting bigger... I get a bigger reward for killing a necromancer so that's pretty sweet we got eight more emeralds out of it no one died except me but that doesn't matter i would die a thousand times before i would want one of my villagers to die that would be a tragedy anyhow we got the ceiling in now we or i was in the middle of uh getting the walls up now there's a couple things that we need to like think about here right because these are going to be houses now the size of the house is going to be a house for hey my dirt block came back. I could see it on my cam, but I couldn't see it myself, so let's go ahead and break that. Finally, the game fixed itself because I didn't log out and leave, so that's cool. I'm happy about that. So if we want to go ahead, think about this real quick. So let's go ahead, pillar up all the way to the top. And how are we going to get into our house, right? It's I don't want you know, a staircase coming up from the front. You know, this is going to be the main entrance. I don't want it being clogged up. Hey, Future Fortress Gnome here. I just wanted to tell you, yes, there's going to be a part two to this. I'm sorry, but I was in the middle of editing, and it turns out this thing was 35 minutes long, and I can't trust your attention span. So I am sorry. There will be part two, but if you did enjoy this episode, please go ahead and smash that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and you are enjoying all of my content, go and subscribe. It really motivates me to be making great videos just like this one. So I hope to see you in part two and until next time guys i'll catch you then bye